All right, we got wide receivers coach Cody Burns with us. To ask a question for Cody, please hit the raise your hand function and remember to call, uh, state your name and affiliation. We'll start with Jimmy Hines and then we'll go to Luis Fernandez. Uh, Cody, Jimmy Hines with the Sports Animal Radio Station in Knoxville. Uh, talk a little bit about the attributes you want to see in a wide receiver, size, speed, the ability to run routes. Talk about those things in a receiver. Oh, for sure. I think the number one thing for me, uh, evaluating a wide receiver's ball skills. I think in this league, in the SEC, you have to have the ability to make competitive catches. So I think everything starts there. How naturally does he track the ball? Um, can he adjust? Um, and also, can he make catches in traffic really is where it starts to me. And then everything off of that, um, there's speed, there's change of direction, um, there's jack. So really the ability to, to get extra yards with the ball in your hand. So there's a lot of different things that you look for in a wideout, but I think obviously the number one thing for me is ball skills, because that's where it starts that is catching the ball. Uh, Cody, you spent a lot of time, oh, Luis Fernandez from uh, WBIR, sorry. Um, you, you spent a lot of time in the SEC throughout your career. Uh, I know as a coach, I think Auburn and Tennessee played each other a couple of times while you were there. What was your kind of thought from the outside looking in about Tennessee as a program uh, and, and and where do you, why did you decide to come to Knoxville? Really on the outside looking in, just in a generalization of Tennessee is amazing tradition. Um, obviously you think about the national championships, the conference titles, um, just one of the most known and respected schools throughout the country, as far as just removing myself from football, looking at Tennessee, but obviously the last couple of years or so, Tennessee hasn't been to that standard that we feel like we can hopefully get to. And that's what we're trying to do is build that culture back of Tennessee being a top tier program, which it is. That's the way that Tennessee is viewed. And now we just have to put that product out there on the field and continue to get better each and every day. We'll go to Austin Price and Trey Wallace. Hey coach, Austin Price, VolQuestandRivals.com. Um, Coach Yolish spoke specifically about watching film from last year and or high school film. Have you been able to do that with your wide receivers and kind of can you just kind of give the overall scope of it seems like you've got, you know, some some maybe unproven talent, but talent nonetheless and guys that come in all different shapes and sizes. Yeah, really, that's one of the first things that, that you do when you take um, a new job here at Tennessee. Um, have to really look at the guys that are on the current roster, um, really what their roles have been, um, obviously, in a game. And also, really, you know, one of the biggest things is practice film. How does he practice? How does he learn? Um, what is his skill set like? And then you go on to the high school guys that we signed and do the exact same thing as far as evaluating them to kind of put the pieces to the puzzle. Because me coming into it, I'm not familiar with a lot of these guys here. And so that's the best way you do get familiar with the guys on your roster. Hey, Cody, Trey Wallace, Rocky Top Insider. Uh, being, you being from the Auburn area and recruiting maybe the Panhandle, the Gulf Coast, the Deep South, how big is that going to be to try to pluck players out of that area and bring them to Knoxville? And, and kind of what has been your philosophy on doing that the last couple of years at Auburn? Well, I mean, philosophically, I think recruiting, um, number one, comes down to relationships. Um, it comes down to knowing not just the uh, student athlete, but also the people that are important to him. Um, and so just philosophically, being in the SEC, obviously you're going to recruit more so the South than anything else. So um, I think the value that I bring is understanding this league, understanding how everything kind of intertwines and works as far as recruiting. And so I think that uh, that definitely gives me an advantage, um, being able to say that and also have the experience of recruiting the SEC. David Paschal, then Patrick Brown. Cody, David Paschal from down here at the Chattanooga Times Free Press. Just kind of wondering what these past few weeks have been like for you. How much shock was there with the Auburn situation, given that that was a staff that was like 68 and 35 and had the success against Alabama? How much shock was there and how long did that take to get over? And, and how happy are you to land at, like you said, another school with a lot of tradition? I'll tell you what, I mean, um, I've learned a lot uh, since really being in this league. And obviously this is the SEC for a reason. It's the best conference. You have the best players. It's the best football played across the country. And so obviously uh, 
being let go at Auburn uh, was a little bit of a disappointment, but not necessarily a shock because you know the expectations that come with this league. And so the last couple of weeks have definitely been crazy, um, really uh, leaving Auburn and then headed to UCF and get to Orlando. It's warm, it's sunny. I'm excited about the role. I know what Coach Hype does offensively. Um, I'm excited to coach the receivers. And then obviously Coach Hype comes to Tennessee and I have uh, the opportunity to come here to be a part of his staff, which is a blessing. So I believe everything happens for a reason. Um, I'm excited to be here and uh, once again, ready to get to work. Hey, hey Cody, Patrick Brown with uh, Go Balls 247. Uh, you kind of talked about knowing uh, Coach Heifel's offense and what it does. Uh, as a former receiver, how excited would have you have been to play in an offense like this and, and have your guys uh, here express how excited they might be to, uh, to get a chance to play in, in this offense that puts up a lot of points and yards? No question. I mean, it, it's that to me, that's the core of obviously in this league and, and what Coach Hype has done. You have to have obviously a balance between run and pass. But I think the numbers really speak for themselves of what Coach Hype has done, um, not only in the SEC, but also outside of that. And obviously this past couple of years at UCF, the number speaks for itself. So if I'm a wide out, I'm excited about the future here at Tennessee and really what we're going to do offensively throwing the ball. And it's more so the, the philosophy of getting the ball on the perimeter to your playmakers and letting those guys play. And like I said, once again, the numbers really speaks for itself. So that kind of recruits itself. And I think that's going to help us getting some big time wide receivers in the future. We'll go to David Ubbin and Brent Hubbs. Uh, hey, Cody, David Ubbin with uh, The Athletic. What have been your impressions of the receiver room that you inherited? So when, you, when I first kind of just looked at the numbers, the first impression is very inexperienced. Um, lost a couple of guys the last few years that were very productive. Um, we're going to be young, very inexperienced once again for this league. But there's also potential. Um, so we have to just continue to grow, develop these guys into what we want them to be for, for our team, for our offense. And so it's going to be a challenge. And I'm excited about that challenge to truly develop these guys and uh, get those guys to play at a high level to what we think that we need to win. Cody, Brent Hubs with VolQuest.com and Rivals.com. How, how would you describe your coaching style, one, and two, how easy is this offense to teach? You know, I, I, I would explain my coaching style is very relatable. Um, I think that, number one, I'm, I'm young enough to where I'm not too far removed to really have a true relationship with my players. I think that's where everything starts. Um, and then also, I'm, I'm not too far removed to where I just got done playing to where I understand what these guys are seeing. And I really try to approach the game as, as, as if I'm a quarterback, as if my wide receivers are quarterbacks, because in my opinion, that's the hardest position to play as quarterback. And so really for me, if you understand the game as a quarterback, it's going to make you a better wide out. Um, and so that's really the way that I, I approach um, as far as coaching my wide outs. We'll finish with Blake and then we'll get Coach Halsley up there. Yeah, Cody, as, as someone who's coached against Tennessee, um, you know, as recently as this past year, I mean, what was what was kind of the outside evaluation of this program? What, what you know, as you looked at Tennessee from the other side of the fence, what, what was holding Tennessee back and, and how do you go about fixing that? I mean, I, I can't necessarily control um, what was going on at Tennessee beforehand. I do know that when I was growing up, obviously in the, you know, mid to late 90s, early 2000s, as a kid that was in elementary school, junior high, high school, you saw really Tennessee as a powerhouse, that power T, the brand that comes with Tennessee. And I think it's still that same way. The brand of Tennessee, the tradition of Tennessee carries weight. And now all we have to do is get to playing that type of football again to where people really get excited about Tennessee football. But on the outside looking in, Tennessee's always been one of the top, if not the top program around. And so that's the, the thought process that I, that I think about Tennessee and the light that I, I think about Tennessee being in. All right, thank you, Coach.